guys welcome to my channel my name is Karen and the name of my channel is PR girl for Puerto Rican girl I hope that everyone is doing well and safe in today's video as you could see by my setup here I'm gonna be sharing with you my summer bracelets design and also the jewelry that I wore with them I'm first gonna start sharing with you the bracelets that I did from pieces that I have from Mores Mores is a jewelry um, brand that also sells beads and bracelets and jewelry in general. And I did create a few bracelets. Um, it's actually a bracelet and a bangle using some of their charms. Um, I really love Mores, as you know. I love their stone and their pieces are actually very beautiful and very well made. So I'm happy to share those with you. And then after I finish sharing with you these bracelets that I have from Mores, I'm going to be showcasing the ones that I have from Pandora. So yeah, I think that's it. Without further ado, let me share with you my summer bracelet design for this summer 2021. Okay, so let me start sharing with you my first bracelet. And this bracelet is part of the summer collection of last year, 2020. It is called the Ocean Bracelet, and it is super pretty. Um, Mores tend to have a few bracelets like this, where half of them is snake shin, and the other half contains like charms or beads. They have really pretty ones. Um, here is the class of it. It's similar to the one from Pandora with the Mores logo. And as you could tell, um, this bracelet has a few charms incorporated into it, and I think it's super pretty. We have a sea star, we have a cute turtle, then we have um, a seashell, um, really pretty one. Then we also have a cute seahorse, one of my favorites, and then another shell. It is very nice and beautiful. And then on the part I have charms, uh, I have a few of them. Um, in the center, I have this gorgeous turtle that was also part of the collection of last year, the summer collection. It has beautiful corals. Then I also have from that collection, this pair of Muranos with the beautiful blue and the sides for me remind me of sand. These next two pieces are part of the Faunas of the Fall collection. We have Ocean Begonia and Swimming Celosia and even though they were part of the Faunus collection I thought that it was going to be really nice for this bracelet because you know they are like sort of like ocean theme um, and then I also incorporated in here two of the Mores mini stones in this case Lapis Lazuli of course because you know it's a shade of blue and I thought it was going to be really pretty for an ocean bracelet and I actually think it looks really nice because these mini stones are smaller in size compared to the other ones and I love the look it, they give. I also have this pair of Pandora clips. Um, these are um, you know retired for some time now and they are really nice so I didn't own any Mores clips so that's why I choose those. Okay, so that was the first bracelet. I'm gonna now be sharing with you my second design. The second design, it is actually on a Mores open bangle, and it's so beautiful as it contains a few stones that I really love. Um, the centerpiece of this bracelet is this gorgeous, gorgeous mermaid. And this mermaid was also part of the summer 2020 collection. I really love this piece. It's actually a stopper, meaning that it has silicone lining in the inside. As you could see, she's holding a pearl. And, you know, that I think that's amazing. I love that so much. Her hair is absolutely gorgeous. I love all the details of the charm itself because, you know, it's yeah, it's a lot of work done in there. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Then next to the um, mermaid, I have a pair of um, regular round stones. These are the light blue Chalcedony, and I really love the color. And I thought they were going to be perfect for this summer bracelet. 
and then lastly i have this pair of spacer which are beautiful they also contain pearls and i thought it was gonna be really nice to match the pearl from the mermaid charm the mermaid stopper aren't they gorgeous i absolutely love them and they are spacers but you can see their size is really nice for a bracelet and you know i had a lot of fun um wearing this bracelet is super nice um for this um bracelet because it has some pearls i decided to use a few pieces of pandora to combine with it so here i'm gonna be um, sharing those with you the first thing that i'm sharing are a pair of the pandora pear earrings ah, they are so beautiful definitely one of my favorite from pandora and then i also have the ring so i decided to use this as a simple way you know with pearls because i really have pearls on the bracelet and i thought it was gonna be really nice okay guys so these are my designs from mores um i wore this quite a few times so i really like them and in fact what i'm thinking i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna be sharing with you a few pictures of uh, me at the beach with these bracelets and then after that we are gonna go and see my pandora bracelets design <music> ready to share with you my pandora bracelet designs but you will see that i still have to borrow a few charms from mores as i thought they were going to be really pretty on these designs i'm also going to be doing things a little bit different because i'm going to be showcasing all the pieces that i have on this um stackers mini jewelry box and then we're going to construct the bracelet from here um, you're gonna see that on this particular bracelet, I also have a few charms that I um, bought recently from the um, Pandora Summer Sale, so I'm very happy about that. So here are all the charms. The first charm that I'm gonna have um, showcasing here is the centerpiece of my first bracelet, and it is the gorgeous Pegasus charm. I wanted to do this bracelet more of a, you know, like um, my time at the beach, meaning um, either during the day or at night watching the sunset so I thought this charm was gonna be you know kind of a little different for this type of bracelet I also have a few other dangles um, this one the sleepy moon one which I also got from the summer sale is super cute and um, then also this um, fireworks charm and, and again um, there's sometimes fireworks at the beach so yeah why not I also have in, um, these gorgeous clips that I also got recently that have the blue um, stars. And then um, as far as other charms, I have this one, which is absolutely gorgeous. I really love that fish and the blue on the side. And this, this next charm is actually from a Christmas collection, but I thought that with the shades of blue was going to be really nice and also to balance the fish um, charm, the one that have the fish they're the same shape i also have here a pair of murano actually two pairs the first one is this beauty which is the murano from the summer collection of last year 2020 and then i also have the mint glitter muranos they're super pretty gorgeous i love the sparkles they have they're just basically amazing um, in here as well, I also included the two charms from Mores that I mentioned. These are the Swimming Celosia and Ocean Begonia. I thought they were going to be really nice for this bracelet as well. And then, of course, the Happy Sun charm with the beautiful yellow enamel is so pretty. I also decided to incorporate this um, feather, which is actually from a summer collection. I think it was the 2018 summer collection and then the aloha charm that i got from my trip to hawaii it's another island basically a group of islands it's just a certain homage to it right and then also the bracelet that i'm using is this beauty which is the stereo night class bracelet as i said this is gonna be more like a, you know like a um at the beach at night type of bracelet so i'm gonna be now constructing the bracelet for you 
Okay, so here's the final bracelet design. I really love the way it turned out. I forgot to mention this charm that I incorporated here. This is the cassette tape charm from the Valentine's collection of 2021. And I love listening to music, particularly at the beach. We always bring, bring music with us, so that's why I included it there. It is such a beautiful bracelet. I really love the colors, and I think that if you know, if I plan to do a permanent design using um, this summer Murano, I probably gonna leave the mint glitter Muranos in there because I think they're beautiful. Now I'm gonna share with you the rest of the jewelry I use with this bracelet. All right, so the first bracelet I'm gonna be sharing with you is this beauty. This is the Essence Beaded Bracelet, and the charms that I have in here are the pearl one, and the whole light is this other one, the aquamarine, the one in the center, and I decided to place on it this pair of mini stones from Mores, which are the Lapis Lazuli. They don't have silicone lining, so they move around, as you can see right here. However, in order to have them in place, I use these Pandora Mist stoppers, which work really nicely with um, Essence as well. And I thought that this bracelet was going to be really nice to match the colors from the other bracelet. And they, look, they do look beautiful when I wore it. I really love it. And um, the next bracelet that I have in here is going to be the... This is the Oxidized Reflections bracelet. It is super nice. And the reason what I have in here is because I decided to put on it this amazing clip from the Floating Locust collection. And I also placed on it this beautiful fish petite that I thought it was going to match really nicely and, you know, be featured with the charm that has also the fish because they are basically the same with the same enamel colors. And the only difference is the size. And I thought that this one was going to be really nice paired with my other two bracelets. So I love that. Then I also decided to wear my floating locket necklace. Um, the one that I have is the medium size that have one side of scissors and the other one is basically plain. And a funny story about this is that I have placed on it these um, two um, letters petites, which are the K and the E for me and my husband. And then also this aquamarine petite because I thought it was going to be nice with other um, jewelry with the bracelets. Um, although it's a little bit lighter in color, but still I place it there anyway because um, I thought that it was going to be a really nice match for the bracelets. Now, the funny story about this is that um, because I got the clip, um, you know, during the summer set, I decided to place the clip right away on the Reflections bracelet. And then the other day I was looking for the fish to pl place on my necklace and I couldn't find it. Of course, it was on the Reflections bracelet. Um, then I decided to wear this gorgeous birthday bloom ring, which is the aquamarine and then also the pearl as a stack. And I love the combination of these two together. Um, I thought it was going to be really nice since I had the... Um, aquamarine essence charm so i love those so pretty and then also um i thought that i could wear the earrings as well the pearl earrings um those are i actually really love and i lose a lot and then also because i don't know i felt that it was gonna be really nice with the pearls and the lighter color charms that i have on the essence bracelet i decided to wear this bracelet I mean, excuse me, this ring. This is actually a statement ring for me. Um, it is slightly bigger. It is a size 60. And I typically wear 60 on this index finger. But this one feels more like a 62. Nonetheless, I really love it. And I thought it was going to be really nice with all this jewelry. Okay, guys. So that was my first bracelet. Now let's take a look at my second bracelet, which is a Disney bracelet. And then, of course, I couldn't um, think of summer without thinking about the Little Mermaid. So I decided to do a Disney, sort of Disney design based on the Little Mermaid. And the charms are all right here. The centerpiece of this bracelet, of course, is going to be uh, Ariel's dress with the turquoise color. So pretty. I'm looking forward also for the Disney babies that are coming up. I only have one charm from this collection and it's Flounder. I really love the um, Chase of Blue that he has. So pretty. Look at them. I love them. And then, oh my goodness, I decided to include this 
gorgeous happy crab this is actually going to be part of my um, bracelet that i call something about me bracelet which is two tones but i couldn't resist putting this charm over here because i didn't have uh, the sebastian charm and i thought that this um, beautiful happy crab was gonna be um, really nice for my bracelet i also here have another um two pairs of muranos the first one is this one which is one of my favorite it's called the lattice muranos and you know they're shades of turquoise and then of course i had to include the little Mayma muranos which are so pretty with the glitter and um yeah with the glitter so gorgeous then i also place in here these beautiful clips that i had on my mores bracelet and because pandora doesn't have yet a um, charm related to Atlantica. I decided to place this one, which is the one corresponding to um, Disney World or Cinderella. But instead of um, putting it uh, on the side that has the blonde in it, I decided to do it on the single um, side, the one that has plain silver. So nice. And then to balance that castle, I decided to put the sailboat on my bracelet, the sailboat dangle. I think it's really nice one. Um, as far as other um, charms go, I have this um, pair of open works. The one on the left is um, the one that came up, was it December of last year, like winter collection of 2020? I believe so. Um, it is an open work that have moon and stars, super pretty. And the one on the right is this one that came from the um, ocean collection, summer collection of last year. I do plan to get um, one of each so I can have a pair. I also decided to place these beautiful Mores Pacers with the pearls. I love them so much and I thought they were going to be really nice on this bracelet. I also included from Mores on this design the turtle with the beautiful corals on top. And then opposite to the turtle, uh, we have this um, Pandora Cruise charm, which is so beautiful with all those details on the cruise. So, so pretty. And then the last thing I included here was a pair of spacers. These spacers um, could have been also featured on the other bracelet that I showed you because they have stars. They are from Ogre Beads and I really love them. They're super, super, super pretty. Okay, guys, so these are the charms that I will have on this bracelet. The bracelet that I'm going to be placing on this charm is the Mesh Bangle. I really thought that the mesh bangle was going to be a really nice complement to the charms that I'm going to have on this bracelet. And then the safety chain that I'm using is the raindrop safety chain. This type of bangle doesn't need a safety chain, but I still love to use them. So here is the final bracelet design. Uh, I really love the way that it's turned out because, you know, the turquoise from the um, dress and the um, blue shades from flounder and the complement of the muranos on the bracelet itself i think is really nice and you know it's like sort of a monochromatic um look for the bracelet but i really like how these um charms complement each other and i'm really happy with the way it turned out what did you guys think i think it's so so pretty love it Okay, so let me place it right here on top of my Stacker's mini jewelry box. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, um, as far as other um, bracelets that I decided to use with this one, um, I have first another Essence bracelet, but in this case, it's the Open Bangle. I have in here a few um, pieces from Elf Beads, and these are called Elf Petites, and I placed these two. And then in the center, the Elf Petite Seahorse, and I just love it. And this type of bracelets, the Essence Open Bangle, didn't came with um, any type of stoppers, but the Pandora Me works so nice on them. So this pair that you see are um, part of the Pandora Me collection. And I think this is super, super cute. Of course, I always thought that it was gonna really nicely match the um, turquoise colors that I have on the bracelet. And that's why I decided to wear them like this. It's so, so pretty. And then the final piece of jewelry that I will be sharing with you is another one that 
for this time of year, of course, is considered a summer design, and it is actually my Pandora Me pin. I really like this pin, um, although I haven't worn it as much as I wish, particularly during this pandemic, I think it's super pretty. On it, I put like, the sun charm as well as the anchor and the palm tree, and I thought that the colors of these um, charms from the Pandorami collection were going to be really nicely with the ones from the bracelet as well as the elf beads pieces. Okay guys, I think that's it for this video. I really love this bracelet design that I created for this summer 2021. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I will really appreciate having you here. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Gracias.